Let's talk about being a work at home mom. welcome back to the channel so today I want to talk a little bit about how to become a work at home mom I know it's something that a lot of you aspire to do and I've been getting a lot of questions recently about how moms can do that and, and basically how I did it now I do have two videos where I talk about my journey to becoming a work at home mom I will link that up top um, I made a video on the day that I decided to leave my job and that is atrocious but I will link that up too <laughs> and then I made a video a year later um, with the progress of how things are going. As a single mother of four, I absolutely understand what it is to just want to be home with your kids. In my situation, it wasn't deemed as even possible for me to be able to do that with little kids at home, little babies. My kids are young when I decided um, to do that. But I knew inside of my heart that I didn't get this time back with them. My kids were only going to be little for so long and I wanted to um, spend that time with them, right? And so I made the decision that was best for me. And I think that's what you have to do as well. I think that you have to consider your own personal um, situation and your family structure and your support system and your financial situation to determine what's going to be best for you. But despite all that, because all my ducks weren't necessarily in a row when I decided to take the leap, but it was the desire that I had in my heart. And I knew my kids needed me. I wanted to be there in the morning to make breakfast for them, pick them up after school, attend um, parent-teacher conferences without answering to my boss, attending special programs at school that the other parents could go to, but I couldn't, and my child, the only one sitting there without their mother, no. Yeah, I, I didn't want to do that, so all my ducks were not in a row, but I had strong conviction in my heart that it would work out, and so I took the leap. So the very first thing I think you should do, you have to assess your own personal situation and then go from there. Then I think you have to go ahead and create a vision um, for your life or what you want for your family. How do you see yourself living in the type of house that you see your kids living in and the type of vacations or the type of food you want to eat. I think it's important to create that vision that you have um, for your life because that's going to be your motivation when you do start to work from home and you have to make those sacrifices in the beginning you will be able to see the end goal and not that you may have to eat ramen for a week. <laughs> Just joking, I'm joking. But no, um, you definitely have to make those sacrifices that I talked about before financially. Get those ducks in a row if you can before you make the leap so that it'll be much easier on you. Now before we make any rash decisions, I think that you should start generating income in addition to your full-time job. So what I am saying is that you need to stay on your job while you're on your job right now. Yes, I know you have the desire to work from home and you're miserable and whatever the situation may be. But I think that you should start trying to generate that income on the side of your full-time job right now to test the concept. So one of the very first things that I like to recommend people do is to telecommute. So especially if you're not business minded or you don't intend on having a business or anything like that, um, it's still the same concept as working for a company, you know, getting a check from them. So telecommuting is basically where large companies hire people to work at home um, and still and do the same work that anybody in the office would do. A lot of major companies are hiring people to do that in all kinds of fields, all type of um, job levels from management to leadership on down to the person on the phone. Um, talking to the customers taking the phone calls and actually um, customer service agents um, it's a really low barrier of entry there as long as you have customer service skills and you know how to talk to people then that is a really good option if you just want to get started right away when I was working if you don't know my story, I left investment banking to go and be a preschool teacher um, just so I could be with my kids. But when I left um, teaching pre-K, um, not when I left, I'm sorry. And while I was teaching pre-K, I actually worked from home telecommuting for a large retailer. So I would go to work 
um, as a pre-K teacher and then come home in the evenings and work um, taking customer service phone calls for that large retailer. And that's actually how I began to supplement my income. Now, after you consider telecommuting, I personally think it's the easiest um, way to get started because it's the same thing that you're used to doing, right? Except for you're just doing it at home. Um, the next thing I think you should definitely consider is adding on a side hustle um, to that telecommuting, right? So that means something like um, being a ship shopper, working for Postmates, driving Uber, driving Lynx, or something like that. Um, and to make that income even more, right? So you have the telecommuting and then you're gonna start a side hustle alongside of that um, telecommuting position that you have, right? That's what I did. I started doing um, shit on the side. And so I think with those two together, you will see what you're made of. You'll see if you're really committed to being home with your children. You'll see if you're really committed to the process because there is a process to this thing, you know, and there are sacrifices that may have to be made, especially if you're a single mom like me, but it is doable. So we're first, we're going to consider telecommuting and getting a a work at home position with the company. Next, we're gonna consider a side hustle that we can do in conjunction with that telecommuting position. The next thing I did after doing those two things was hop on social media, start a blog, start a YouTube channel, and I didn't do it this way, but if I knew then what I know now, I would simply hop on the YouTube channel or the blog to talk about the things that I do in my day job if it's not considered a conflict of interest. So for instance, you, whatever, you're in what field? You're, you're in gardening. You work for a large home improvement company and you work in the, in the garden. Start a blog about all types of flowers and how to keep up flowers and how not to kill um, indoor flowers and when, how many times to water them and seasonal plants and you know start talking about what it is that you do in your day job. You will have an endless amount of content to talk about and you will start building something online that later on you can tra you can transition if you don't want to keep talking about that. But then you can begin to monetize um, the social media of the day job that you have so like you're taking what you're doing in the daytime and letting it work for you in another way right does that make sense so consider hopping on social media on Instagram starting a blog starting a YouTube now I will tell anybody that I am a YouTube fan okay i am pushing youtube down every bomb that i know's throat to hop on youtube because the impact that it has just had in my life in such a short time is really amazing and i have a blog as well and i love my blog and it's how i got started in this online space but youtube is where it's at Turn on your cell phone camera. Get on here and talk about baking that cake that you love to bake. Get on here and talk about how to potty train a two year old or whatever. So you want to build on the skills that you already have. Take whatever you do in your day job or whatever that side hustle is that you're going to be doing and start creating some online content around that. There you go with a third stream of income that's going to be coming in building that bank account that you're going to have on the side of your full-time job preparing you to get ready to be at home with your kids so now once you have all those things in place you have the telecommuting going you have the side hustle going you have started in this online space now is a great time to assess your situation and see if you're ready to truly be at home with your kids so the bank account done got a little bit bad you have kind of got your stride going with creating this money from home at that point you can go ahead and assess your situation and say okay you know am i ready am i ready to do this am i home right and so at this point once you have gotten used to making money you know working for other people and doing this other things i think you should consider not trading time for money I know, I know that's what I just told you to do, but once you get a hang of this thing, 
then you can start making real money, right? So freelancing, offering up the services that you've built at that full-time job to people online and offering them photography service or writing or starting a business to where you can offer your skills and sell your skills instead of selling your time because we all know that time is money and when you sell yourself by the hour and you're selling your time you're not necessarily making all that you can make or maximizing your skills the way they can be maximized right but all in all that's kind of just the process that I use to become a work at home mom and there's several ways of doing it but those are just some tips and just to get you started. Ultimately, like I said, you have to do what's best for your family and what you feel in your heart is going to be right for you and yours. But I do want to let you know that it is possible in the day and time that we live in. There are just so many options. If this is something that you want to do, do not be discouraged. Don't be afraid to do the research. Get out here, do the digging, watch YouTube channels, get on Google, you know, find the information because it's out there and it's something that you absolutely can do. I did it and I know you can too. Question of the day. If you could leave your job today and be at home full time with your kids, what do you think you would do to make money? Leave it down in the comments and let me know. Let's start a discussion, a conversation around this because I think that it's something that a lot of women would desire to do but don't feel that they can because they don't know how they would make ends meet, especially if they're single, you know, and have kids or something like that. But uh, And then even if they're married, they also still want to be contributing to the household and not just leave their husband out there hanging, you know what I mean? And they're not bringing in nothing. So let's start the conversation. If you think this was a good video go ahead and give me a thumbs up and share this out on Twitter or Facebook or share it personally with somebody that you know that you think could find this useful if you are new here and you don't know who I am my name is Nakisha Wynn and I come here each and every week to give you tips and resources on how to work and make money from home so if you think that is something that you would be interested in hearing about week after week go ahead and smash that subscribe button and go ahead and join the family around here we would love to love to love to have you and share this out on social media with your friends and family members so they can come over here and join the family too i appreciate you guys for being here with me and i will see you guys in the next video